We're at the Pure Fishing booth here at the Saf Dad Show. We're busy chatting to Mornay from Pure Fishing, and he'll be taking us through the new range of products. <laughs> Thanks, Duncan. Um, now, guys, uh, fantastic lineup again this year from Abu. Uh, so many new products to look at. Um, I think starting with uh, with rods, the new Veracity, which is the Mike Iconelli development. Um, T36, so very high modulus graphite, um, but also with a nano shield technology and micro guides. So uh, definitely a, a rod look, worth looking out for. Ultra light, super sensitive, lots of bone. Um, definitely the the rod you want to be looking to put on your boat this season. And then we're matching it up this year. I see you guys have launched a whole bunch of new reels, the new Morum and the, the MGX, the, the Rocket, and the rest of the Aura range. Uh, Let's have a look at those in terms of what the top end would be pairing this up with. These are the two top end of the, the range of your reels, the new Rocket, 9 to 1 ratio gear ratio reel, and the new MGX Extreme. Can you tell me what, what the consumer needs to know about these reels when making a purchase, especially with the new ultra high speed reel, and that is the cream of the crop that it offers. Uh, you'll take us through those. <laughs> sure Duncan, um, I think uh, firstly we'll start with the MGX Extreme. Um, as most of the viewers will know about two years ago the MGX was launched um, which is a step above in the Revo range um, for, for Abu and, um, and it was a cutting edge reel at the time in the sense that it's uh, one I cast uh, 20, 2011. Um, last year or earlier this year they launched the MGX Extreme which took things just to another level lighter, more compact, um, and more importantly, um, more high performance bearings, um, which is giving you further cast ability, um, smoother operating, and just all around a more refined reel. So how, this is your premium choice. Really. How close to that is what the, the Japanese market gets introduced to on Abu's side? Um, it's a it's a good question, and can we you know there's there's obviously a development for, uh, for 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 Japanese domestic product and in the premium selection of, of, of bass tackle um, at the cutting edge that is that is the JDM product um, and and that's definitely some of the the design concepts and the and the cosmetics as you can see an absolutely gorgeous looking reel um, is definitely being pulled through from the Japanese domestic market uh, product. So, so that's really something special, the, the, the MGX Extreme. Um, and, and then, then the Rocket. Moving on to the Rockets, I think last year we, we broke some boundaries with Abu um, with an 8 to 1 gear ratio on the STX, which was absolutely groundbreaking. Um, and as, as the fishing challenges and, and our fishing environments evolve, um, guys are looking, anglers are looking for higher and higher retrieval speeds. Um, and once again, we've, we've set a new standard, a 9 to 1 uh, gear ratio. Um, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need that? Um, well, speaking to a lot of different anglers, um, the guys are excited about opportunities um, to make themselves more efficient um, while fishing. When you're pitching, being able to retrieve the, the dead bait as such quite quickly. Um, fishing, for example, plastic, soft plastics um, over grass and weed, being able to actually move the baits quicker, spot a, a, a busting fish and being able to present a bait to it quickly. Much quicker turn. So, so I think there's a, there's a variety of different, uh, different benefits. The, the, obviously the rocket fits firmly into the Revo uh, uh, range of, of family of reels. So it is a premium premium reel as such, um, nine bearings um, and, and really a smooth operating light reel uh, very much in the Revo family. I know uh, the first impressions when we got our, we got the first sample reels from, from Graham Hills. Uh, when he gave them to us, I thought when I picked it up, to me it was a pitching reel. In essence, it's going to be a great pitching reel, nine to one ratio get that bait in there, get it back and we recently took it to Let's Walker as well and, and really got a few of those fish coming out of those trees where you basically have that sec, that split sec and I know last year when we had earlier in the year when we went, uh, we were fishing that eight to one and as soon as that fish ate you in the tree you needed to move it uh, and that's something that this really, really is one of the strongest points of the rocket and it's just got that same bulk quality as the Abus, so I think Fantastic. it's going to be an excellent product for the new season.
Well, this the Aura range has been released for the new re-released for the new season, uh, which now includes the winch and just a new improvement on the Aura. I'm going to let you take us through those. Yeah, um, you know what? We've obviously Abu is a is a premium position brand, but we also want to demonstrate that we can bring real value to 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 the end user in terms of of offering an incredible quality product, um, but a, at a more cost effective price. And the Aura range, as such, has, has, has delivered that quality for, for quite some time now. It sits just below the Revo range in terms of, um, of, of the family. Um, but the nice thing about, about the new Aura 2 is that um, besides the, the revamping and the rebuilding, they've really done a lot of work on the ergonomics. If you look at the actual shape and design of the reel, it's very much in line with what the Revo range is like. So when you pick it up, there's that familiar feel. Um, to, to the Abu um, and then of course as well um, just a little refinements uh, the bent handles um, more ergonomic in terms of operation um, smoother uh, and they've cut a lot of weight out of them as well which is which is a is a real bonus as we know these days everything is about weight yes. um, so so yeah the new Aura 2's and I think probably one of the most exciting things about the new Aura 2 range is the addition of the winch um, as, as the Abu enthusiasts will know, the winch is a cranking specific reel, so it's a 5.4 gear ratio, um, specifically designed to, to, to um, fish the crankbaits. Um, and from that point of view, it's great just to have a, another option, uh, filling the gaps, bringing the Abu enthusiast into the family and saying, well, you know, we've got cost effective options throughout the choices of, of, of pricing that you, you might have. Whatever your price point is, we've got that. But a workhorse reel, I take it, this, this is where it would be positioned as the workhorse reel with the Revo is now slightly above that in terms of price point. Yeah. Um, but a reel that I know Revo has always prided themselves on being being a long-lasting, hard-working reel for the media or the intermediate angler who's looking to step up from what he's been fishing and he wants to step up into that abu category. 100.